Alrighty then, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Sunny here coming at you guys with another Never Winter video guys. And today we're going to be talking about the foods and potions that you want to use if you're a DPS class. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to title this video, but this is mainly going to be for those classes who are trying to maximize their DPS. <clears throat> like, it's crazy the amount of power you can gain from using potions and buffs. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what people say, like, it's part of the game. Uh, it was intended to be used. So let me know down in the comments if I missed any of them. Um, maybe there were some on this list that you didn't even know about. So we're just, without further ado, we're just going to uh, jump straight into it, okay? Now, as you can see, standing here, my base power is at 107, you know, 178. You know, 177, 178, if you want to round up. And I'm not even at max rank, you know. I still got 13s and 14s um, on me. So probably, and I still don't have max companions. You know, I don't have max legendary insignias. So I'm still missing out on a good chunk of power, right? I'd say at the end of the day, uh, you should be close to like 190 something. If you have like maxed out 15s and the right gear and, you know, everything is just max. You should definitely be close to 190, 200k power. So adding these potions is just going to be, you know, just dumb crazy. Because at the end of the day, power, um, when you're running against, like, these end game players and everything and trying out DPS people, you know what I mean? Because, like, I find that enjoyable. Like, you know, doing the most DPS at the end of the day, people be like, oh, it's not a competition. But, man, I'm trying to go, you either go hard or you go home at the end of the day, bro. Come on, let's be real. We're all trying to put out mass DPS numbers. The more DPS you can do, theoretically speaking, the faster you should be able to get the run done. Um, so without further ado, enough rambling. We're just going to jump straight into it. <clears throat> now, each one of these potions can be equipped. And uh, I'm going to put them all on. I'm going to show you where you can get them all and everything like that. So, um, yeah. So as you can see, my power right now is at a... You know what? I think I had one of my potions on. Okay, I did. I probably had a potion on already. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. So, my base power is at 175k. That's actually even better. So, I must have had one of my potions on. Um, so, I do apologize for that. But anyway. So, right now, 175. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Now, Elixir, you can get this in the Vault of uh, Petty right here. Uh... You can, you can get this one, or some people go with the Storm of Elixir for the Critical Strike and Critical Severity. But I feel my Crit Strike is at cap. I mean, it is, and my Critical Severity is pretty much at the point of diminishing returns, I feel. So the best case scenario would be an increase in my power and my uh, damage bonus, right? The next one we're going to move on to is a Potion of Power Rank 10 plus 1. Now these are a little expensive, okay? But if you're trying to go for that max DPS, or you know, you're just trying to go crazy with it in that dungeon run, all you're going to have to do is go to the auction, go to consumables, just put in rank 10, and it should pop right up, actually. And I always uh, search buyout, okay? So as you can see, there's a couple on them. Um, I'm not 100% sure where you make these. I would assume you make these into professions. Uh, let me know down in the comments exactly if you know how to make these, because if you do, then you're in better luck. You don't have to waste the AD. Moving on to the next one, uh, this, I'm not even going to butcher that name, but anyway, we're already in the strongholds, so all you got to do is just come over to this chick over here, and this is where you can, I guess, you can finally get a use out of your guild marks. Now, there's a bunch of food here. Uh, I might make another video talking about, like, the best potions and consumables for a tank, but uh, right now, we're just going to be focused on the DPS, since that is my main, and you could just pull them. Bad Boy is actually right here in the front. Now, there is different ones. You see, this one only gives you 686. Now, of course, you want to get the one that gives you the most amount of power. But it is the most expensive. But still, you know, guild marks are fairly easy to farm. <clears throat> now, I'm not probably going to include this in a title. But if you really want to go crazy, we have the overload slots that you can still use. Like, they're still valid. Um, I see a couple people who run them. So I'm just going to pop that in there. Uh, there's different ones. The ones you want to be going for the ones with power. I feel like the Greater White Dragon is probably uh, one of your best bets to go for. And all you got to do, like I said, these are actually in the refinement tab. You're just going to put in white. And boom, it should pop 
or uh, you go epic, and it boom, it pops right up. And there's quite a, you know what I mean? There's not a crazy amount on the market, but I mean, they're fairly cheap, and you only need, you know, one of them <clears throat> because they're good for two hours. So like I said, you know, I don't use these too often. You know, I'm only using these when I'm, like, running with the same group consistently where I'm trying to, you know, do max DPS, truthfully. <clears throat> the next one we're going to be moving on to is the Watermelon Sorber. Okay, this is one I pretty much use every dungeon just because it's from the Summer Festival and it's pretty cheap on the market. Um, you can get a pretty much a 99 stack for pretty much nothing. You know, 28k for a couple 99 stacks. And I could just pop these. Now the shitty thing is, these don't persist through death. Neither does this one. But this one does. So that is the only good thing about this one. This one is more expensive, but, you know, if you have that slip up where you die, you don't necessarily have to use this one, which is also a nice little, uh, you know, bonus. And then you actually can get a power bonus from the invocations. Uh, let's just hopefully I can get it pretty quickly. Let me just see. It's only a chance, but still, if you're trying to go crazy, like I said, you're trying to maximize that power output, you want to use whatever you can to your advantage, and right there I got it. Grants a power and defense bonus, and that was like a thousand power bonus, because I was at 175 something, so that was easily a thousand plus bonus, which is pretty nice. That lasts for 15 minutes, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead, just for the purposes of this video, and just put these all on real quick, and then just show you my power is going to be just standing here now as you can see i was at 175k i'm at 190 bro that's almost a, that's a 15,000 15,000 plus bonus and now <clears throat> i actually have the embezzled chainmail i've been running this a lot um if you guys want to check that out i would highly recommend it uh, I haven't been dropping a mod 17 build just due to the fact is I'm trying to get a couple more pieces and I don't want to release an incomplete build but that is one of the things I'm running at this time so let me just go over here to the dummies real quick and just show you the amount of power you can actually get and like I said I'm not even maxed out myself but uh, let's just make sure I get the, the 10 stacks okay 206k power I just capped out at 206 I can use the battle horn real quick every 10 minutes that's an additional four grand power so i mean it's kind of crazy you know the amount of potions and buffs you could use in this game and if you're trying to um you know get as max dps and you're at that point where you're just look at 221k now that is what the tenders just popped and everything like that but still we were at 175,000 power we just eclipsed 220, 2, 223, 223 was it, or 220, 226, bro. That's crazy. That is just, that's, that's crazy to do in one rotation, you know. The horn is one of those things you can only use every 10 minutes. But still, you use that on a boss fight. That rotation right there, you could probably one phase the, the scorpion. Especially if I had the soul sight crystal, you know. And... Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go crazy making this video any longer than it has to be. I just want to show you guys some of the potions you can use. Like I said, you don't necessarily have to use these ones. But if you are trying to just maximize the crap out of your DPS, I would highly suggest running the uh, Embezzled Chainmail. Because of the incredible amount of power you get from it. At the same time, using all four... Let me see. One, two, four five potions plus the 800 power you get from the greater white dragon you know what i mean i just took 175k base power standing it's over 200 and something thousand power and you guys wonder how <clears throat> and it's no secret you know people can say whatever they want about potions or anything like that they're in the game for a reason to be used let me know what you guys think about this video though. I'm going to be dropping another banger tomorrow. So make sure if you guys are new, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. And let me know down in the comments below. Did I miss a potion? Um, remember that uh, you can have only one of these in effect at a time. So you got to make sure that they are not um, 
you know, canceling each other out. Like this one says, only one elixir can be used, only one enhancing potion, only one food buff, and only one festival or one event food. And of course, the invocation is uh, same thing there. Only one can be used at a time. So make sure if there is another potion <clears throat> that it's not one of these, or if it is one of these, that it's better because, you know, why not, right? You're trying to go crazy with that DPS. You want to use as much. Because <laughs> once you hit that 15 and everything and max out everything, there's there's nothing else you can do besides use potions in order to get the edge on people. But it's been your boy Sunny here. Uh, I made that uh, outro a little bit longer than intended. But like I said again, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Did I miss any potions? Are you? Did you not know about some of these potions? You know, maybe I'm a sweat, but... Yeah, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, you know, I got to rep us barbarians out there. But uh, I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace out.